One of the keys to creating an NPS culture is making sure that the customer ratings and feedback are accessible to all the teams at your organization. Scaling data cross-functionally is tough, but with Appendo Visitor Report, Zapier, and a bit of creativity, the process becomes infinitely easier. To get started, we're going to create a segment of all visitors who have ever responded to the NPS poll. This way we can segment the visitor report we will eventually push to Zapier. Head over to the Visitors section, click on the current segment to reveal the dropdown, and we will create a new segment. Go ahead and give your new segment a name. We'll use Zapier NPS Responses. And then for the rules, we'll add the Product Uses rule of Pull Response. When searching for the guide name, we're going to look for the guide that contains our NPS poll. In this case, it's called Ongoing NPS Survey. And we'll want to capture anyone that has responded to the first survey question within the last 30 days. Next, we'll add an OR rule to the poll response of the same guide, but this time we'll want to capture anyone who has responded to the qualitative feedback of the poll within the last 30 days. Once your rules look good, go ahead and create your new segment. Now you should see the visitor page refresh showing who has responded to your NPS poll. In order to push the ratings and responses to an outside source, we'll need to adjust the columns to include that data. Click on the Actions button to reveal the dropdown and then select Edit Columns. We will of course want to include both of our poll responses and feel free to adjust the columns to display whatever data you think would be relevant to include alongside them. Depending on what fields you have available in Pendo, this could be anything from account name to the assigned CSM to their first name to the number of days active in the last 30 days. Once you have everything looking the way you want, let's save this as a visitor report. We're going to name this report Zapier NPS Responses and set the date range to the last 30 days and then save. Now that we have a report generated, we can link this up to Zapier. If you have not yet configured the Pendo Zapier integration, head to help.pendo.io and search Zapier for an article explaining how to do so. A link for this article can also be found in the video description. Head over to zapier.com, log in, and select Make a Zap. For your trigger app, search for Pendo and click it. There's only one supported trigger option, so go ahead and click Save and Continue. Once you've linked your Pendo account, click on Save and Continue to move on to the next step. For this step, you'll need to grab the visitor report ID from the report we created earlier. The report ID is the collection of numbers and letters that trail the URL in Pendo. You may then see a test screen. If you are presented with the screen, click Fetch and Continue to move forward. You should then see a screen indicating that the test was successful. Once you've set up your trigger, we can create our action step. For this example, we want to post our new NPS responses to a Slack channel we've created. Choose Slack as your action step application, and under the Create header, we'll use Send Channel Message. Hook up your Slack account. Depending on your team's Slack instance, you may have to work with your Slack admin to grant Zapier permission. Next, we'll select our channel that we have named hash NPS responses. The message text is where we will include all of the details that we included in our Pendo Visitor report. If you head over to Slack's help site, you can read up on formatting tricks, but for this example, we'll keep it pretty simple. Click on the plus sign to reveal the dropdown, and it will load any available fields based on how you set up your report. In order to add them to the Slack message, just select any of them. Remember, adding a field only adds the raw data as it appears in Pendo, so we recommend setting up a template in your message text saying something like, Visitor ID from account name just gave us an NPS rating out of 10. They have been active for number of days active of the last 30 days. This way the message is easily understood in Slack. We won't worry about the rest of the options for now, but feel free to customize them however you want. On the next page, hit Create and Continue to continue with the test Slack message. In the next screen, hit Finish to complete your creation of your Zap. Next, you'll name your Zap and flip the switch to turn it on. The Zap will run every 15 minutes with any new responses. Once you've got everything dialed in, invite other users to join your Slack channel and start taking action on the feedback you're gathering. If you have any further questions, reach out to us at help at pendo.io.